All right, members of the Cult DAO, let's go over how to swap your USDC from any chain over to the Polygon mainnet in preparation for your purchases and for your airdrops. So you have everything in place for providing liquidity on quick swap. I'm at the multi-chain router. You can see a link to this either in the body of the tweet that you're watching right now or in the YouTube description. I'm going to demonstrate transferring from Binance Smart Chain because I happen to have some USDC in this wallet, but the process is exactly the same for the Ethereum mainnet as they're both EVM chains. I select the chain that I'd like in the right drop-down box, and I select the coin that I'd like in the left drop-down box. My from address is in the top field and my to address is in the bottom field. I can designate a separate address other than the address that I'm sending from if I'd like. That's a separate step in the process. But for right now, I'm taking for granted that I'll be receiving at the same address that I send from, but on a different network. You see at the two field, I've got Polygon mainnet and also USDC. There is no swapping of coins. It's like for kind. So I'm going to put in the maximum balance, not a whole lot, about 250 USDC. And there is a cross-chain amount minimum of 12 USDC and a maximum of 20 million USDC. Right now, I see what the pool amounts are on both sides of this as well. Polygon side is a little bit lean right now at only 872 USDC, but this fluctuates over time. There we go. See, real time, we just saw that it fluctuated up to 4,300 USDC, and that number can fluctuate up or down depending on the given time of day or how many people are using it at a given time or how many people are funding it. Same is true on the BNB side and definitely on the Ethereum side, stables are always very flush. There's plenty to go around in those pools. So first things first, I have to approve USDC in my wallet. Open up MetaMask, approve the amount, confirm. Once it's approved, there it is. I can see the transaction for that approval on Binance Smart Chain because that's where I did the approval from. Now I can swap. It'll double check with me and shows that there's a gas fee. The gas fee is taken from the collateral that I'm swapping. It's pretty clever what they do there. So the gas fee on the receiving side is just taken from my USDC. And again, Polygon being a low fee chain, it's costing me under $1, the equivalent of under $1. Click confirm, and again, I'll need to properly confirm that from within MetaMask and then review the transaction and accept that on my hardware signing device. Now we wait. It does take some time. This is not instantaneous, but uh, it's also, it's not even just one block time from the sending chain over to the receiving chain, but it is very, very fast. Two seconds later. Okay. And now I see that the receiving wallet is the wallet that I expect. It's from my sending wallet. And I have a transaction hash that reflects the transaction ID on the receiving side. You'll notice also that right here, this has deleted about 90 cents worth of USDC on the receiving side, exactly as was promised before I confirmed the transaction. That's really it. Same for any EVM style chain. Multi-chain is a really great cross EVM swap router. So you can use it with Ethereum. You can use it with Binance Smart Chain. You can use it with Polygon. Arbitrum, Avalanche, any EVM chain, and it's bi-directional. Just pay attention to the pool amounts to ensure that the swap that you want to make is covered at that time. And if you're unable to make the full amount that you'd like, you may need to split up your swaps. That's the bad news. But the good news is it's much faster than using the Polygon bridge. All right, cultists, happy swapping.